I like to say, reality can be beautiful, but the surreal often absorbs me. My name is Christoph Verlander, and I'm an experimental photography artist from Eknes, Finland. This is a quiet and isolated place, no chaos, free from the uncertainty of big cities. Besides the predictability lifestyle of Eknes and the regular time schedules of individuals, when you look closer, you can see the harmony of the people who live in the city. I have been a part of this place almost my entire life, and it always fascinates me how peaceful and patient they are. There are peaceful places, both in the urban center and on the outskirts of the city. The streets of the city welcome me and give me a chance to stop and observe the people flowing throughout them. As a full-time father of two, I must admit that it's not easy to find time for creative work. Lowering expectations is not only therapeutic, but it's also a way for me to figure out new experimental ideas. I like to think it's a way to sketch with my camera. Most of my artwork is born through this humble process. I grew up in this town and I know it inside and out. For a moment, put yourself into my shoes and try to imagine a place where you are heavily surrounded by the things you are most familiar with. In every single corner, you have tons of memories. What would you do? I preserve them in jars, as me and my grandfather put ladybugs, grass and ants once I was a child. I remember the day of my first double exposure experience. It happened unintentionally, by accident. But I went with it, and built on it, and in time, it developed. In Eknes, both the avenues and the forests perfectly complete each other. I prefer the forest as a place to both observe and to be part of. The forest inspires me and has paths to the unknown. I am always trying to capture the unknown. After all this time, I can say the main reason why I prefer to manipulate in camera is that of the simplicity of doing it that way. In Photoshop, the artwork, in my opinion, is never finished. It becomes nothing more than an abandoned piece of art. On the other hand, if the manipulating is in camera, the manipulation is permanent, something that becomes clear when it's finished. At the end of the day, I can say with a mind at peace that if a simple mistake can lead me to become a full-time art photographer, why should I be afraid to make more mistakes? Instead, I choose to learn from it in order to create something new and inspiring.